to this hot streak? Um, I think our team has been finding our groove recently. I think there's some really good things on the field. I think we've been connecting. Obviously, some of those things need to be cleaned up still, but I'm really proud of the way that we've been connecting, moving off the ball, and sending each other up. Yeah. And so, bouncing between forward and midfield this season, one, just, you know, how has that been, having two different positions, and two, you know, how do you balance having the play styles of, you know, midfield and forward, or do they, like, into one another, I guess? Yeah, it's definitely different. I think both of them require different skill sets. You know, forward is a little bit more runs in behind, posting up back to goal. Midfield's a little more possession-oriented, getting players in behind, but I've really enjoyed both. I'm here to do whatever the team needs, and I'm just excited for this team moving forward. What was the mindset after that frustrating uh, draw on Sunday? I mean, obviously the State's have not having a good year. It could have easily been a letdown. What was the mindset? Yeah, I mean, State's a great opponent. We have a good game against them every year. Um, I think we came into this game with a great mindset. Our team was really locked in, ready to go, and I think the way we come into games really contribute to on the field, and I'm just proud of everyone's mentality today. I'm proud that pretty much everyone got in the game and it was just a really exciting game. But it was kind of slow, you didn't get many shots early, but then in the second half, they don't get a shot and you guys keep firing. What was the difference there as the, as the game went on toward the end of the first half and then in the second half? Yeah, I think that just shows like the persistence of our team. We're gonna continue to go at a team no matter what. Um, I'm really proud of the energy and attitude we had throughout the game. It really didn't waver, which was awesome. So. Uh, I hope we can continue this attitude and style of play throughout the season. Yeah, so you said after Sunday you're going to practice corners a whole bunch. I mean, what y'all do in practice this week to practice corners? And you know what it mean to see, you know, the first one go in today? Yeah, I mean, I'm just so proud of Ev and the whole team for just scoring on that first corner. We haven't scored on an attacking corner yet this season, so that was really incredible. Um, and I think a lot of it comes down to, like I've said, our mentality on those corners. Um, and we have adjusted a little bit on positioning and everything, but at the end of the day, just the aggression to put it in the back of the net. So really proud of everyone. Just how much of practice did Anson make y'all con contribute to? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely a good amount um, in the film room and yeah. on the field. But we're going to continue to work on them. It's not, it's not over. <laughs> yeah. On that goal that you scored, you were pretty much going one-on-one -on -one with the entire NC State defense. How are you able to be so technical with the ball and do that? Yeah, I mean, Mox did a great job of getting wide and creating that space for me, and she played a great ball right to my feet, so that was amazing by her. And I think I just um, took the space that I saw, and my teammates made great runs off the ball to give me that space as well, so not, not an individual effort. <laughs> Yeah, and then having a futsal background, how does that contribute to your uh, skill set? Yeah, I think um, it definitely helps with tight spaces. You've really got to learn how to, we say, like, get out of a telephone booth. Telephone booth. Like, yeah. you kind of have to maneuver. Um, we kind of have to maneuver just getting out of tight spaces, and I think it's just helped with vision, check my shoulder, so it's been really helpful, and I am thankful that I grew up playing futsal. Yeah, to be playing this well after an ACL injury two years ago, how does that How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to continue improving. I am nowhere near where I want to be, but I've definitely felt um, improvement after my injury and hoping to stay healthy. Yeah, so what is the ultimate goal? What do you, when do you think you're going to be, you know, where you want to be? Never. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's... Yeah. It's a, as an athlete, you're never going to be satisfied with your performance. There's always something to work on. Um, but I'm really happy with where the team is, and I know that we have so much more in store for the season as well. Yeah, and, you know, it's only your sophomore or junior year, I guess. What's been your favorite memory so far from UNT? Oh, man. Um, I think any of our rivalry green rivalry games I think it's just a different attitude a different atmosphere the crowds are always amazing I mean the crowd today was awesome record attendance I think um, so I think our team really just thrives under those situations and it's just really fun to put on a show for the fans and just have a great time on the field and one last thing I don't know how connected you are into like the video game landscape but EAFC 24 they added women's teams added you know the ability to play with women's players I mean no, what does that mean for, you know, the state of women's sports right now? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Honestly, I've seen all the videos on social media, people finding out their, their scores on EA Sports, yeah. and I think it just really shows the commitment to funding for women's sports. The fan base is continuing to grow. I mean, our crowd was sold out tonight, which was amazing. So I know it's just going to continue to grow, and it's a great time to be growing up playing women's soccer. Yeah. If you had to give yourself a rating, what would it be? Oh, this will be the last question <laughs> for Ali. All right.
I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> not as, not as good as the people up there, but we'll see. <laughs> Great, thanks, Allie. Yeah, Thank of you. course. Have a good night. Thank you. Good luck for you. Yeah, thanks. Well, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, how, how did how did the the tournament go for you? Good. We it was awesome. We played the Netherlands and Sweden, and we lost to the Netherlands, and then we bounced back and won versus Sweden. So it was awesome. It was a great experience. And it, it seemed like when you came in, you brought a lot of energy. Can you talk about uh, maybe the impact you and the other subs had there, and, and then you scored the goal? Yeah. So I mean. It's impossible to have good energy on this team. You know, my teammates bring out the best in myself and then in each other. And, you know, coming off the bench, you're always hungry. You want to, as a team, we want to win. We want to score as many goals as we can to get everyone on the field. And tonight, you know, that was our goal. And everyone got to step on the field um, from the bench. And, you know, that was just an awesome experience. And very happy we got to experience that together tonight. How, when did you get back into Chapel Hill? Um, I got back in Chapel Hill Wednesday morning. Wait. Wednesday morning. Yes. So you got what? A couple practices in. Yes. Yes. And how how many days were you gone? I was gone ten days. Ten days. Yes. Yes. How how weird is that to not to be away from the team like that? Um, you know, it's it is it's hard, but I know I'm grateful I have the support from Anson and Damon to support me in my national team experience. Um, and you know, I just go and get the job done there, and then come back with my head back with the team and on the road to win a national championship and. You know, I think the biggest thing is just bring the energy and fire and, you know, just work with my teammates and do the best we can to win. Any personal highlight from your play for Italy? Um, no. I think just the overall experience. I'm very lucky for it. and It was awesome. And where were the games played? What did you say? Where, where were the games played? The games, uh, the first game was played in Italy and the second game was played in Sweden. Now, how does that feel to be able to, you know, go to such foreign countries, you know, at your young age? Yeah, you know, going to foreign countries at 19 years old, playing for a national team is honestly an amazing blessing and opportunity. Um, you know, I'm very grateful for it, and yeah, it's awesome. Less than nine minutes in, you score a goal bar down. How does that feel? Um, it feels great, you know, as a job. The job of a nine is to score goals, and, you know, that was kind of something I struggled with last season was getting, you know, goals in the back of the net, but this season I'm feeling it, and... I'm feeling great about it, and you know that's a great, a good goal to score. Um, I actually haven't scored one of those in a long time, and just to do that and feel the fire and energy from my teammates cheering me up and saying "Welcome back" was just an awesome feeling. And you know, tonight we earned that win, and that was awesome. And then, how did uh, you know? How are you going to try and use the international experience you've gained you know, into the rest of the season? Yeah, so I've actually learned a lot from my international experience. Um, more on the mental side, you know, just like going to every game with a, the attitude of being grateful and blessed to have the opportunity to play and just bring your heart. And that's something I learned and not everything's going to be given. So just fight for it all and um, work to earn it. And coming back to play with my team here at UNC, the same attitude. Um, it's more driven too, and, you know, fight to earn time, fight fight to win um, and ultimately come together as a team and reach our end goal to, to a national championship. I'm curious, why why Italy over the United States? Um, right now, that's just where the opportunity is. Um, you know, there's no final answer yet. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm lucky to have opportunities with the U.S. and with, with Italy, so I'm going to take whatever opportunity is in front of me and go from there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you. Luck.